it's me. And today is Darman Monday where we're gonna be watching a video about a beggar who gets exposed as a fake. I think it's crazy because I've made videos about these fake beggars getting exposed. Like, check this out. This was a real person. This woman is asking for money, going up to people, like, please help me. She got a little coin cup, shaking it in people's faces, like, pay up. And the worst part is, she's pretending that she's disabled and she'll go to the richest parts of town. Fifth Avenue, where they got the Gucci store. And then the news followed her around with hidden cameras and saw that she was making bank. The news reporter like, hey, she making more than me. And so they followed her home. So she gets into a van and then she comes out walking on two feet, perfectly fine. A normal woman, if you want to call a scammer normal, but like no more crutches, she bamboozled everybody. She on her way to the Gucci store. But that's not all. There are hundreds, if not thousands of these people. This dude made over a hundred thousand dollars in a year pretending to be disabled. Give me money and to get some eat. Don't feel sorry for this panhandler. He's phonier than a three dollar bill. <laughs> they said my dude phonier than a three dollar bill. Please help but but spare my at my wheelchair today and all my coins, somebody take it. Dang, that is quite convincing. Like somebody rolls up in a wheelchair with a speech impediment and asks you for money like, yes sir, here you go. I appreciate you guys busting me. He can speak perfectly fine, normal. Get this, he even has a degree in speech pathology and learned to mimic the disabled. My, my big, big, big boy, I'm just playing. I gotta go y'all, I gotta make some money. And a job to him. Bro, walk on down to the comedy club and give a story of your entire life. Like, he does not even care that he got caught. He's just like, whatever. Y'all caught me. I gotta make my money. You gotta make yours. I'll see you later. Like, doesn't even care. He doesn't have social media, so he can't get canceled. I cannot believe this. Anyways, let's see how Darman did this. <sighs> Here's where I got the front page again. That's okay. Didn't you say you were working on a new big story? Well, I was until... Showed it to my boss and she hated it. I gotta find something new to write about or to be honest, I might get fired. Yikes. I'm sorry, you might Oh my God, look at that poor lady. Ugh. She can't even stand up straight. Hey, it's, it's the one, it's the one that we just watched. This is based on a true story. She got the cup and everything. Yeah, I've seen her a few times. I always give her money. Seems like a lot of people do. Dang. I'm so sad. Oh, so sad. Everybody's giving her money. Honestly, I would too. <laughs> Here. Aggressively this helps. The I can't imagine how difficult things must be for you. Sorry, I don't have any cash. Uh, maybe you've got some change at the bottom of your purse or wow. something. Uh, no, I don't. Hey, there is a coin shortage. Ain't nobody got change. Put her on the spot like, I know you got money. Give her something. How about this poor helpless young lady? Oh. Besides, it looks like her cup is already quite full. Ooh. Oh, yeah, turn around. Thanks for putting me on the spot. I'm sorry, okay? I just felt bad. Hey, why do you feel bad? She making plenty of money. Look, another person has already given her money. I wonder how much money she makes in an hour. She probably makes in an hour what he makes in a day. At the least. Like, some of these panhandlers making bank. And they keep doing it, too. So something tells me it's definitely worth it. Like, I've seen the same homeless man in the same spot asking for money almost every day for over a year. You know, it really makes you wonder. Like, are they really homeless? Or are they doing it because they're making more money than they would at a real job? Plus, they don't have to pay taxes if they're homeless. Probably a lot more than I I do. You know what? I have a 20. Give it to her. That's too what? much. You already give her a 10. And didn't you just say that you might get fired? You should probably be saving your money. My dude is a simp. Wait till he finds out about Twitch streamers. But I'm sure whatever she's going through is much worse, okay? Let me see if I can break it. Bro, you are doing um, way too much. You already me? donated to her. Yes. Hey, donated um, multiple times. Can change for a 20? It's not for that lady. Is it? It oh. is. Why? She's been getting money from people hand over fist since she started coming around here. I don't think she needs any more help. Agreed. Well, a good deed is a good deed. Stop trying to force this good deed. Like they just said, she has enough money. Do you also happily offer your money for your bills? Yes, please take it, all of it. I've always believed it somehow finds a way of coming back to you. So 
I'm gonna help her. Maybe if I help her, I'll get to keep my job. I mean, if you believe in karma, sure. I feel like something's off about her. You don't need to do this. I know, but I want to, okay? I think she went this way. Bro, stupid. <gasps> I bet that whole guy is filled with money. Did you just see that? Yeah. I told you something was up about her. Maybe she has some mobility, but can't walk much without those crutches. Don't be so naive. She's scamming people for money. Yeah. But who would do something like that? A lot more people than you would think. <gasps> no way. There she is. She ain't going back to that oh, don't tell me that's her Porsche. You should record her. For what? What do you mean for what? For TikTok, for YouTube, for Al Jazeera News. Put it Everywhere. Scammer alert. This guy is so dumb that I even forgot that he was a news reporter. Like, this is a huge story for you. I mean, you should record it. For what? Isn't that literally your whole job? Looks to me you may have just found your big news story. Oh, you're a genius. And you're an idiot. <laughs> Dad, that woman was like, just begging people for money and making it seem like she was disabled. But clearly, she can stand up fine without any support. She can stand up fine. Go back to her Porsche. You know, she messed up. You know what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to go to the bathroom, change into your normal attire, and then be out. Put her in jail. Not only for scamming people, but for parking like an idiot. Also, the only thing this guy can do right is record landscape. Good job. And it looks like she even drives a Porsche. This is unbelievable. <laughs> what are you hiding from? She's caught. Go up to her. Get a face shot. What are you scared what? of? Oh, no, it's her. She's had that outfit on underneath the racks this entire time. It's everyone's favorite evil babysitter. <laughs> I should have knew it was her. Look at all that cash. She I probably made it in the last person. few hours alone. No way. And she has a Louis Vuitton bag too. <laughs> this just keeps getting better and better. Uh, oh, she's coming. She's I wouldn't coming. even believe that's the same person. <laughs> But don't worry, I'm going to follow her and get to the bottom of this. This is Gary Sanders reporting from the All York Times. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> it's sure going to be one heck of a story. I mean, yeah, it's a pretty good story. Congratulations. If it wasn't recorded, nobody would believe it. It's time to get a massage from acting like my back broken the whole day. Several days later, she's back at it again. Hello everyone, this is Gary Sanders reporting from the oh. West Center Plaza where we're doing a follow-up on a story that ran today. As you can see, that nice lady just donated money to a disabled woman. Excuse me, ma'am, if you don't mind me asking, why did you decide to help her? Because I'm a good well, person. I just feel bad. She looks like she could use some help. I'm, I'm trying to do a good deed. You're so kind. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? I don't think she can speak. If we ain't talking money, I don't want to talk. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, what if I were to tell you this woman was an actually handicapped? You offended her. Hashtag canceled. Of course she is. Why else would she need crutches? Hey, that's a great question. Why don't we ask her? Excuse me, ma'am. Why do you use crutches? <sighs> that's right. <laughs> My bad. You can't talk, can you? Rose McDowell. <gasps> Dang, they you got her, her real name. name. Yeah, I've come to learn a lot about her, including the fact that she can walk. Otherwise, she would have never been able to get into her Porsche. Wait. Ooh. Hey, she drives a nicer car than I do. That's her? Yep. And I bet if you see underneath those racks, you can probably even find out that they hey, just snatch it, snatch it. <laughs> Dang, she dressed up like she was ready to go out after this. Shoot. Looks like we lost her. Hey, don't expose me like that. Get off of me. Or maybe hey, not. Yeah, Dang, yeah, save it for the judge. Her. Okay, to be fair, she was stupid coming back there. Go somewhere else. You got a Porsche. You can literally drive to different towns to do your scamming. Are you stupid? There you have it, folks. Justice has been served. This is Gary Sanders signing up. Who does this on the news? The... What was that? My boss ended up liking the story so much. She gave me the promotion. Good. And I've got you to thank for it. That's not true. If you hadn't tried to give Rose the money, you wouldn't have gotten your story. No, if you didn't tell him to record, then he wouldn't have recorded, and then he wouldn't have got the story. So yeah, he should be thanking you. So I guess you can say, your actions always have a way of coming back to you. I couldn't agree more. Bye. That's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and the 
Yes! And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.